Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and we're currently looking at the NAS that I recently built. And of course, I got a wire run through my house that my wife does not like whatsoever, so I'll try to be quick about it. This system is pretty decent. Unfortunately, it's a really old Cooler Master case, but it can get the job done. Let me go over the specs here for you, and then we'll talk about what my plans are. So this system has the ASRock Z390 Tachi Ultimate, the Intel 9600K, G-Skill Trident Z RGB memory, uh, 16 gigabytes, and ignoring the Aorus NVMe drive, we have the ADATA XPG SX8200 Pro. One quick thing I want to mention here is a lot of the people will advise you to use enterprise grade NVMe or SSD storage rather than these because of the amount of endurance or writes that you're going to have to do for Chia. And so right now I'm currently plotting in parallel on this system. However, this system isn't my main beast. The main beast is in my actual bedroom and we're gonna switch over to that in just a moment, but I want you to know something. So even though I have this guy plotting in parallel and I only have a one terabyte NVMe drive with a platter hard drive storage, I am reaching my limits because of my cores here. I only have six cores that I can utilize and it's really cores that you need to be concerned with, not so much threads uh, as Chia is gonna utilize the cores only. Uh, we're not at the limits of the memory, but the cores are my main limitation. So, with this wire running through my house, I am plotting over the network using my main system. And so let's switch over to that now. All right guys, so now we're in the main room and on the main system, you can see the wire running behind me. I do need to remove that as soon as possible. But on this main machine, I am also plotting in parallel. My CPU is not my limiting factor. My memory isn't my limiting factor. My limiting factor is actually my SSD or hard drive storage. Uh, with this system, the Ryzen 5900X, I got plenty of cores that I can utilize to plot in parallel. I got plenty of memory to do so as well. But when it comes to the actual storage that I have available, I only have two SSDs in this system. So one is the Corsair MP600, one terabyte, and one is the 850 EVO from Samsung. With the current plot sizes and what is required in the temporary space, I'm sticking with the K32, which is what everybody recommends, but it does require 240 gigabytes of space. Now, that space, once it's plotted on the temporary, it does get moved over via the network to the NAS. And it actually is a lot quicker for me because I have 10 gig Ethernet on that end and 10 gig over here. So it actually gets done. I saw the fastest speed was like 1.5 gigabits per second. Um, and it, it, it was done within like 10, 15 minutes, if not shorter than that. Uh, but because I can only plot maybe on the 850 one, uh, I can't plot in parallel on that same drive, but I can at least, you know, plot one at a time on that drive. And I can maybe plot two on my C drive but there's another con to that, and I want you to be aware of this. A lot of the people in the Chia network do not recommend utilizing your C drive to uh, create your plots because that's where your main operating system, probably where most of your files. If you're not somebody that likes to back up, you got your pictures, documents, music. Back up. If so, now, if I get out of your way here, uh, we're looking at hardware info, which I encourage everybody to utilize, whether you're GP mining or even plotting in Chia. We can see that the Samsung 850 Evo hit a max temperature of 57 degrees Celsius. Right now, while it's plotting, it's 49. Obviously, there's peak times uh, in the right cycles. Um, and then for the Corsair MP600, uh, we hit a max of 72C, which is pretty toasty. When you start to get around those temperatures, your NVMe drive or SSD is going to throttle. Uh, each SSD has a different threshold, and, and when it hits that threshold, it will start to throttle its speeds. Uh, which can decrease uh, the you know how quickly you create these plots and you can see also that I've lost some drive life so I'm only down to 94 percent which isn't a lot but I lost basically six percent since I started plotting more and more one thing I want you to know though 
is that each drive actually has a different life expectancy or total terabytes written. The higher the capacity, the more terabytes written or the life expectancy is higher than those of a smaller capacity. Um, obviously, check with your manufacturers. They usually have it in, in, you know, in their marketing uh, material of how many terabytes written and all that stuff and life cycles, which is why people in the Chia network rec recommended you know, some type of enterprise SSD or, or MVME drive rather than the normal MVME drives that we may be used to. However, for me, I'm not, I keep everything backed up and I'm not too concerned. If I do tank my SSDs, I have the capability and the budget to buy another one, one terabyte, two terabyte, whatever it may be. Um, but if you are the average consumer, say you only have you know a 500 gig SSD and then a two to four terabyte hard drive, which is pretty standard in today's world, then you may not want to risk it, especially if that's your main C drive. Um, additionally, you know, plotting over the network with two machines actually helps me out. If I actually started to spin up my son's machine while he's not, you know, utilizing it for whatever, I can actually plot over the network as well. And so I have multiple machines. You could even take a laptop uh, to build plots temporarily and then export it or put the final on an, an external hard drive of some type. And I have shown that uh, with an external hard drive, you can do that. I even seen on Chia, Chia Reddit where people got like 14 terabyte external hard drives. Boom, 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 boom. So the cool thing is, is despite the cost of entry being high, what I mean by that is for it to be really profitable, um, you know, people got this mass amount of storage, maybe racks on racks on racks of storage. Technically, you don't really need to do that. I've seen people with, uh, you know, maybe only four to eight terabytes of capacity actually win uh, two Chia. So it's really the luck of the draw and it is possible for the average consumer to get involved one and, and, and not only participate in the network but uh, earn additional income. I uh, guess you're going to have to weigh out whether or not this is something you want to get into. If you got the capacity and you're not doing anything with your hard drives then great go for it. But if, if this is something like oh I can't risk you know uh, decreasing the life expectancy of my SSD or NVMe drive then maybe not so much. But you can see that uh, the 850 Evo is working pretty decently and steadily. It's not maxed out, but it's working pretty good. And then my C drive for my NVMe drive isn't really doing too much. And it just really depends on where the plotting is during its cycle. Uh, sometimes you'll see it spike up and sometimes you won't. But yeah, for the one terabyte, I can do two at one time. And then for the 850 Evo, I can only do one at one time. But at least I got this machine going and then I got two more plots. So that's four plots. In all running at the same time going to the NAS over the network which takes about 10 to 15 minutes to once it's completed move from this machine to that machine so that's pretty convenient pretty easy and if I wanted to expand the storage with additional uh, internal 3.5 inch uh, platter hard drives I can certainly do so but that's pretty much it uh, for me today guys thank you so much for stopping by tell me what you think about that you know old school I call it the sleeper NAS but I'm gonna use the sleeper NAS for plotting on Chia as well on, and until one day when I decide okay I'm just gonna be my NAS my main storage my media server whatever it may be but let me know your comments down below do me a favor hit the like button because it greatly helps out the channel and subscribe for additional content like this you guys have yourself a wonderful day take care and I'll catch you in the next one mm -hmm.